Hello everyone and welcome to Being Deaf. Today we'll learn about SVG animation. Okay, if you haven't gone through previous tutorials like starting with SVG and some complex topics about SVG, click on these links and go through them first. If you have, let's start with the animation. As I said in previous videos, these animations means the structure itself can be drawn using some tools like Adobe Illustrator also but in this tutorial we'll be using SVG only to draw everything okay just to make a clear understanding out of it okay this is the animation that we'll be creating this is basically the menu icon that is now being used in most of the websites okay so let's begin let's just comment out the CSS as well as JavaScript for now and this is how the basic HTML looks like see starting from here like this this is our first curve okay and this is the second curve and this is the third curve let's just comment out the second and third curve this is the first curve okay we have drawn it by using the path element in SVG and inside of the attribute we have used M for move to and C for cubic curve what cubic curve is if you don't know what cubic curve does is let me show you one picture this is what cubic cu cubic bezier curve right cubic bezier curve does okay see this is the move to point that is this point from this point we'll be starting our curve okay when we mention the cubic curve in this path we need to define three coordinates first second and third what that means is the third one is the ending point okay so in this case let's command the okay other so this is what it does the third point is the ending point and the first two points decides how the curve will rotate with respect to the ending points okay the first point will decide the rotation with respect to the first point and second point respectively with respect to the second end point okay like just have a look at this image okay so this is our move to point let's say and this is our ending point the third point and then the way we define our first point how however we locate our first point it defines the curve around this point how the curve will behave around the first point okay let me show you say if I increase this y axis okay you see the curve rotating so what I am doing is I am making this point go down a bit so that is why the curve is rotating that way okay and if I decrease let's say first increase only okay it also curves around the second point now in case I decrease you see that variation from the first point it is downwards and the from and from the second point it is upwards so that all is decided by these two points first and second how the curve will be rotated okay so let's go back so what we have done is we have curved till this point using oh sorry using this C and then from there onwards we have curved till this point okay and then this okay so this is the path that we'll be using in our ad animation this path if you don't want to go into XML like these things if you don't want to do 
these things manually you can use tools like adobe illustrator to draw these okay and then move ahead with your animation similarly the middle line <coughs> there it is okay move to and then line to and then our last curve what i have done in last curve as i have explained in my previous tutorials i have scaled it with 1 minus 1 what it does is it creates a mirror image and then translated it for some axis so this image is wrong okay it is really very simple than it seemed to be in the starting okay then comes our css so this is what css does how it does so i'll show you let's comment this portion let's comment this out as well okay so as of now what we have done is we have just changed that color of the stroke and then provided the animation that is transition property on stroke dash offset and stroke dash array i'll explain these properties let's give stroke let's just i'll uh, let's comment that out okay you see that line cap it might not be visible right now let me and comment that also so that is what this line cap round is creating the rounded corners if i delete this it will show like that okay let's proceed with transition let's for now comment these two lines and just focus on the first line okay what we have done is we have provided a property named stroke dash array what it does is it first defines how long will the line will be and then it defines the gap what will be there before the next line come okay so if i let's say give the gap of 90 pixels you see that gap so it increases so this is the gap that is there uh, so what is what it's doing is this is 240 pixels then 90 pixels gap then 240 pixels then 90 pixels gap then 240 and then so on okay but for our animation will require i'll show you how this thing works the gap is increased by 590 will require some more some extra gap because we don't want anything to show but just this line only okay i hope you all are clear with stroke dash array it defines how the line how much line will be visible and then the gap between the visibility of the next line okay similarly middle line why the first line disappeared uh 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 let's see this still not displaying what will be the reason mm. oh oh the reason is the first line is displaying but the middle line is not displaying because it is commented out <laughs> okay so there's our middle line in middle line as well we have defined our 
line visibility property and then the distance for which the line will not be visible okay and now comes the animation part how we does our animation it is also very simple let's see it first for the top line only okay so what stroke dash offset does is let's provide this property over here only it just moves the line ahead of the starting point okay let's say if i've given 50 pixels you see that line moving similarly 60 and 70 and so on okay so that is what stroke dash offset does and we have provided that property to a class and will be adding that class to our element using javascript and that thing will do the animation for us and for animation we have provided the transition property already similarly we have provided that for our middle line but in case of middle line what what is happening is let's just uncomment this out in case of middle line what is happening is the line is getting shortened okay so that is why we have given this dash array again here we are defining the offset and then using dash array we are decreasing the width of the line being displayed and increasing the width and whatever the width of distance between two line lines that are being displayed okay so one pixel we will be the width of the line that will be displaying okay and using jquery you can do it without jquery as well we just need to add a class cross class